I'm posting this because I was asked uh, by somebody about uh, doing a structure with bricks and they were having some trouble and uh, this is not an in-depth uh, tutorial on how to make a really nice brick wall, grungy brick wall. I'll link you to uh, a couple of those really good ones uh, but I just wanted to show you something. So let's say uh, you wanted to create sort of like a brick structure like an alleyway or something there's one way that you could that you could do this so I'll just bring in a default cube I'll go over to the shading editor and I'm gonna click new on this and I've got the default uh, principled BSDF there and I'm gonna bring in a brick texture collect that to there and as you can see, we've got bricks here, and then we've got some lines here, and we got nothing here. Okay, so what we need to do is to come in here and go U for UV unwrapping or mapping, cube projection, and then you need a texture coordinate. And you need a map a uh, mapping. I'm going to take UV into here and vector into here. Now I've got them all over. Okay, now I want to make an alleyway, so I'm going to take these faces and I'm going to delete them. And I've got the start of my alleyway. Now here's the thing. I'm going to go back to layout. This is too short for an alleyway and this is maybe too tall. Let's say I like I like that. So I'm going to take these and I pull them down and everything's going to get stretched. Okay, fair enough. What I'm going to do is select that edge, extend it down. It's really going to get stretched, but I want my alleyway to be that that long. I'm going to take this edge and this edge and I'm going to pull it in. And take the whole thing once again and I'm going to uh, set the origin of the 3D cursor and set the geometry to, to the origin okay I'll pull it up again I'm now going to go back U Q projection and do it again then I'll come to the shading tab and then I'll scale my bricks until I like, let's say, well, say like that. So, now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose some colors for my bricks. my mortar color to white and my mortar size maybe to 0 0.01 all right we're not quite there all right let's say I'm going for that next thing that I am going to want to do is get a little bit of bump in there. This is sort of a cartoony kind of a look here. I'm going to connect that to there. And I'm going to take this back. Let's move this out of the way. I'm going to take the fac out of here. And put it in there. Okay. Let's go back to layout. 
let's turn the world down to black. Use scene lights and scene world. Not in a point light. I'm gonna change this one to orange and I'll make this say 50 watts. I'm gonna copy it, make this blue. Copy it one more time. And I'll make this green just to give it kind of a weird look. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere now. Okay, I want a door. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to throw in an edge nuke here. I want my door right there. And control B and pull it out. I can still move this along. That could change that though, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do this. Put it right to there. Let's say. And we'll break out a door here. Like that. Now I'm going to take this edge here and then I'm going to extend it back. I'm going to select the whole thing, U, Q, projection, and then that's going to change some things so I can still go back in here and say, okay, hang on a second. I still don't like the size of those bricks. That's looking more realistic, let's say. Let's say. Okay. So we're starting to get somewhere. Um, now we have these areas where the bricks don't you know, look very good. So what you might want to do is you might say, okay, well, I'll come in here and I'll, I'll put some trim or pipes. Shift D, I'm going to copy this edge. P to break it out. So I've got that edge. Go in and I'm going to, let's say, extend it back just a little bit. And maybe I'll extend it up a little bit. Okay, so hang on. Let's take this. We don't want the brick material on there. So I'm going to get rid of that. Create a new material. I'm just going to make this dark for now. You can do whatever you want with that. Let's put solidify on that. And let's put a bevel on that. I'm going to just leave it like that for now. Okay, and then we'll get this into place. Okay, maybe that's not, you know, the right way to do it. Maybe we got to come up like this. I don't know. You could do whatever design you want. You could take that there and then you could just copy it down here. Thing, rotate Z 180 and pull it over to the other side if you look at wireframe it becomes a little easier so we had that we could extend that doesn't look right yet so let's come in here and let's see what we can do here let's grab this edge shift D let's pull this out P to break it out 
come over to the materials and get rid of that one and put on that other material. And let's extrude it in like this and make it a bit higher here. Give it some thickness. Let's get uh, a bevel on there. side okay maybe this has to come out past past this so let's select both of them these faces pull them out a little bit past this you look at that you say well what if we put an edge loop here and here just let them fall where they will and in edge selection we pull those up to here Join those two, control E, bridge those edge loops, and now you have that structure there. Now maybe you don't want the bricks in behind. That might make sense. So you could grab all of these faces here. And let's just pull them back. Pass where the bricks went. You have a different kind of a thing there. Because there you want to, let's just grab some edges here. It's okay, shift D, pull that out, P to break it out. Let's have a look at this, let's go back here. Okay, we could take this and we could say join these and we could F to make face because this is, we're going to make a door out of this, let's say. Maybe it's been even a double door. Let's get rid of um, these. Take this extruded back a little bit. It's got a bit of a bevel on it, so that's good. Bring that in. Uh, maybe we set the origin of geometry on that and the cursor is selected. And now we can set the origin of this to the 3D cursor and mirror this. like sort of a I don't know some little bar there okay so we got that going on and then we don't want to see the top either so we take maybe this one and bring it up select that vertex and that one extrude them back a little ways let's get rid of these two and that can stick out. We'll take these. Don't have it all. So we're going to wireframe. It just depends where you're going to shoot from, or where your you know camera angle is going to be. Um, so it's again, you know, you, you do some other stuff with these bricks. Maybe the, this size is still not good. So let's see what we can do about that. We go back in here, keep changing it, making them smaller. Let's see what that looks like. That looks more realistic. All right. And, um,. And then we say, okay, we need some stairs at the end. First of all, let's, okay, let's do this. Let's come in, let's grab this edge, shift D, let's just move it out of the way, P to break it out. We've got that edge there. Let's come back to the materials, get rid of that one, put on that other one or whatever material you want. Let's take this and extrude it back a little ways and up a little ways. Okay. And then 
we'll take this and we'll array this. One in the Y, one in the Z, and zero in the X, and we'll start bringing it up. Now, let's see. Maybe I'll scale it a bit. And let's say that's that's high enough. Apply that, come in, take this edge, make this out to go like that. Okay, so now. Does that look? Okay, here's what we'll do. Let's scale this in the X, bring it over here. Now let's take this wall, let's go in, let's see, let's take that piece because we had edge loops before, shift D, and pull this along, and I am going to rotate Z90, I'm going to pull this in, and I'm going to pull it over to like this. I'm going to bring an edge loop in here, and I'm just going to delete this stuff. All right, and I'll come in here, and I'm going to take this Shift D, rotate Z90. I'm going to pull it over here. And now I'm going to turn on Snap to Edge. And slide it up here and snap it to there. Okay, we're going to have a bit of a join here. That's not going to look quite right. So we're going to put something in there. We got that. And let's see. I could take... Okay, that's split like that. I could, well, I could take both of them. It doesn't really matter. Shift D. Oh, I got snapping on. Turn that off for the moment. Okay, let's make sure I didn't make any doubles here. Shifty, pull this out. Put on snapping. Snap to here. Maybe I would get rid of this one and take this one instead. Shifty, copy it over. Turn on snapping and snap to that edge. Okay, so hang on. More close to it. There we go. And now we need to take this. various do the same kind of thing on the other side maybe I won't bother to do that right now though okay let's get a light going let's make this one kind of white let's make this 25 maybe these you take this edge Extend it down, and there's other stuff going on up there. Who knows? Okay. Let's uh, put this far down here. Even 15. Now, with this. Uh, spot here. This is the perfect place to put a lamp post or a garbage can or some pipes uh, there, you know, to, to break that up. So I'll take this first of all and bring that out. P to break it out. Let's go back to here. One, and there's a couple of pieces. I want to uh, dissolve those edges or actually get rid of them. 
I'll do that. I got that piece. I will just make a little thingamajig. You know, make a little post or something of some sort. Uh, what has the bevel on it? This. And even that same material for now. Maybe that goes there. Um, the other side, you know, you can see that. So maybe you copy it over and you, you put it on the other side as well. And you do something with this, you know, across or the same height or, or whatever. And you can take this one and just put it in the corner as well. Or pipes, like I said. And you can, you know, extend the trim as well, you know, so that it, is that it fits properly. Or you get the right size and, you know, that's there and... You know the trim is, comes out past it, so you you know you extend that or something, and then you put a, a garbage can or a plant or like a, or whatever like I say, um, you know, and then okay, so this part doesn't look quite right, and so you just see okay, what can I do here? I'll pull that back there. And so you can build it up and you can cut through. Uh, this type of thing uh, if you need to let's try just cutting through here and see what happens let's do pretty edge loop there and there and uh, just anywhere okay he's got to be careful about that do it like that let's say I just need this Two of them. Okay, that's fine. I'll just, break, I'll just cut those out. Select the edge. I'll bring it, bring it back. If I do it just a little bit. It might even look like bricks. Okay, I do that, and then I put some bars in there or something. So you probably wouldn't want to do like a fully brick floor, brick, brick walls, brick top. You know, maybe part of it is concrete or something. Maybe this is, or maybe the ceiling is, or or maybe some of this stuff is is a nice wood. Keeping in mind, this is very cartoony look. There's no um, variation in this, um, but I like this look. But if you if you're going to make the bricks grungy, let's say the mortar and all that, everything else has to fit. And that's often why I don't do it, because if you're going to go for that kind of a look, you've got to do that to every object in your scene. It doesn't make sense to have a pristine, you know, faultless uh, door, and but everything else is all grungy. And so for now, I'm not going to get into that. Um, but, you know, this could have a neon sign or whatever, and uh, you could you could adjust the, the brightness of these lights and just make them, you know, a lot more moody. Uh, I like that one. This one maybe. Maybe we even get rid of that one. I like that one. I'll just make it really low. And also adjust maybe the position of some of these. You know, have some of them here and some of them there kind of thing. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you that quickly. And hopefully that helps uh, working with, uh, with bricks. And like I said, I'll link you to some... Uh, tutorials on how to grunge up these bricks and make them look a little bit more realistic if you're interested.